instead of what I was expecting was the off lane techies, but it seems like they're gonna do support techies, maybe a dual lane with Tus so that they can try and get an easy first bird at the start of the game with snowball. I mean, we were talking about the fact that needs to wait for the next snowball. Oh, Karoki. He's, he's taking a light strike around a few punches here as well. He doesn't need to be careful. He, he's fine, though. He came to lane with four tangos, so he'll be able to keep himself topped up. Mid lane, S4 already having a pretty good time against Shiki. Oh, first bird. Oh, we missed it. Oh, God. Yeah, I, went I, to the I, was, I was keeping my camera on top. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, uh, Karoki didn't manage to find first bird there with a the suicide onto aggressive. So, okay. So, a one for one trade, but of course, being the suicide is all good, all things said and done. Secret there with the first blood. And we're going to bring him low enough. It's going to be, be very fine. close. Yeah. yeah. He should be fine. There's still stick charges, but uh, yeah. that was a close call there for S4. But oh, here we go. Top lane. They're going to get it. Kuroki and Zai on to two with the ice shards. They're brought down the leader. Kuroki is trying to do what he can here with the right clicks. He hasn't got suicide. He will end up going down into a slight of fist. And now Zai. Yeah, he's going to be fine. There's no mana on aggressive. He can't do anything else with the combo. But uh, another one for one trade there. The techies. Uh, it was a missed, bit of a missed type winner. Volvo put in the old stats and Kuroki, he's got the Sol Ring now, so he's going to be able to get those mines out. Aggressive trying to go in here with the Flame Guard onto Zai. Q. Oh, nice snowball dodge here straight onto Q. They're going to be able to blow him up. Kuroki's got the Suicide. Man. He'll pop it. He's got a double kill here as they bring them both down. And snowball mines. <laughs> snowball mines. One kill on the Lina. Looking at their draft, we obviously expected a lot from them. There's going to be a charge onto Kuroki here. He's, he's going to set up the mines here. Uh, oh, has this no, big... Is he going to stand in the mines? No. Oh, is, is this going to be next? Come on, Karoki. Can he do it? No, the mines. Oh, no! he's trying to move towards him. He's trying to get towards the mines, but the light striker and the dragons, they go through. He's trying to bring XE over them, but XE knows. He's going to keep himself safe. Light fist flies through across the tree line, but Karoki's going to be able to bottom himself up. Undying has gone down on the bottom lane to the PL, and uh, the fight still continue up here. Light striker Ray will find Karoki. They do bring him down. The mines are still sitting there, and well, they'll be taken down now thanks to this sentry placement from the side of C deck. They will be to remove these stacks. Wrong. This Did guy is a techies wrong. player. This guy <laughs> is a... Oh, a Zai. He, he wants some here. He's going to go for a snowball there onto Q. And well, with Boris Punch as well, bringing him low, but there's going to be the charge from XZ. Aggressive's coming in as well. Zai will finally kill Zelina there with the ice shards. But now Zai could be in a bit of trouble here as we do see the Searing Chase coming out from Aggressive with the Flame Guard, the Slider Fist as well. They do bring down the Tusk. So another one-for-one -one trade there on the top lane between the sides. Yes, as a support play. RTG now with the Lancey onto Garda and might be able to go for this one. There's going to be a tombstone drop down. RTG trying to chase the one down. Garda, he's trying to do what he can to keep himself topped up with the Sora. There'll be a TP in from Shiki on the TA. Maybe they can catch out Artur here with the trap slow. There's going to be Lina coming in as well. The doppelganger forward from RTG down the lane. Trying to escape. Puppy could be in trouble. He's got the heal. He's also got a shallow grave available here. We'll be able to get it off. Trying to head into the side shop to pick up a TP. He has got one, but he won't end up using it because he knows that he can't get out of this one. And will be decayed yeah, down there by the undying. There's a Lina coming in as well, so there was no way that he was going to manage to grave TP out. Mm. Oh. Mid lane as well, mid lane, they're going in for s Not sure if they can attack. chase him down. Q position very aggressively. He will be able to get the burst damage onto him. And there we go with the charge. But at the same time, we did Dyer's miss. Sorry, another kill on the top lane. Kills happening left, right, and center. And dying also falling as well on the bottom lane. Literally a kill happening on every... Plus snowball, plus Boris punch. And middle attack. lane. Yeah, more action oh. indeed. Zai snowballing forward. We'll be able to find the final touch onto Q, bringing down the Lina. Exe looking with the bashes. Won't be able to find them this time. But 10 to 7 between these two. PL and, of course, on the Zai. Tusk as well looking pretty healthy. 39 for 2 and well. Oh, hello. He's going to let the TP out here. Will he be able to get away? No, he won't there. But the, the heal, heal bomb. bomb. Too much yeah. physical damage. <laughs> he's thinking about charging in. He's, gonna, he's not going to go for it for the time being aggressive. Looking with the slight face. Uh, slight fist searing chase combo here onto Puppy. Tube going to get dropped as well. Here we go. Onto Puppy. They'll be able to burst down S4 there with very Nice Sonic Wave onto three. RTC's in the fight as well. There's going to be backup clean from Zai. There's going to be the snowball forward onto the Spirit Breaker. They try and bring him down here with the Wall's Punch and a couple of right clicks. The Sigil's being thrown out and Zai's been able to find the kill. Now, can Zai get himself out of there? There's a back of the heels from Puppy. The Shallow Grave as well is going to be enough. Aggressive. He's in a lot of trouble as well. Be able to Remnant out. Shiki, can he escape? Blink 4 from S4 trying to catch out this TA. Puppy trying to get close and personal. Has got any points in Poison Touch. So it looks like Shiki will be able to get away. Is deck's going to look for the PL. And they've found him. He's going to doppelganger himself away. Can they chase this down? Remnant forward here on Tartizi. With only the one point in doppelganger. It's a very, very long cooldown. But the backup's there from Zai. He has got the snowball. He's going to get bashed away to the sidelines. XZ looking for the bashes. Now the snowball comes in. He's going to be able to pick up Tartizi on the way back. And now with the TP from S4. Can they this way around? They've lost Artor here on the PL. But they're taking down the Spirit Breaker. They're looking for aggressive as well. He's out of mana. She can just try to fight up with this one. But now Puppy's coming in as well with a weave onto the entirety of the side of C deck. Shiki trying to go up against Zai. But with the armor, the come out as well. It's just not enough damage. The 
Fiery Dragon Save will be enough to bring him down. So it's a two for one favor in the side of C deck. Now it's a question of whether C deck can get themselves out of it. Kuroki coming in with the right clicks and now Puppy with a heal bomb as well. They'll be able to take down the CA. S4 looking to chase for more potential. He's got a dagger in a couple of seconds. Probably doesn't want to dive this tier one here, but it does end up a two for two there between the sides. And see, you know, C deck being able to take down the RTZPL. Yeah, that's not too bad for them. I mean, the question is, how will C-Deck ever be able to push into this lineup? I mean, well, mid lane aggressive, he's come back for a bit of farm. He could be in trouble here as well, though, as Arteezy and Kuroki. Really? Yeah, this guy's this guy's gonna die. Yeah, there, there we go. The flame guard's gonna help him a little bit, but the right clicks are too much. As S4 blinks forward as well, I'm just clean that one up. Now, see the embers get those illusions out and available so they can continue the push. Zai here on the sidelines thinking about a snowball. There'll be a charge onto Puppy. Oh, the, the mines, the mines indeed. The remote mines are there. When are they gonna be used? There they go. Bring an exit down very, very low. They'll be able to bring him down with the screen from S4. The weaves come down the middle of the fight. Arteezy's been able to. He's trying to take down the tombstone. It is still up. It is still up. They haven't been able to take down the tombstone. Puppy getting low. Now the tombstone will fall. RTZ trying to fight for all. It's a three for one so far. They're looking to clean up more here. Zai and S4 going in onto the aggressive Ember Spear. They should be able to find the kill here. They certainly will. It's only the TA living. But now with the slow from RTZ with the lances going forward, he has melded up. And they don't actually have any vision by the looks of it. So Shiki's actually going to be okay here for the time being. The tower's not. Oh, he tries to walk out of this one. That was a bit of a mistake. Gets himself low again. Realizes, okay, better stay in the cover of this mound. Now we'll come out here trying to escape here with a refraction. Zai here with a Warspun getting the slow. There's going to be a charge from Exe onto S4. The trap slow as well. Exe will be trapped up by the ice shards, but they've lost the tier two in the mid. Let's go there. Man. Tanking up with the illusions. Man, they know this is C-Dex's last play though, so they if they jack it away from C-Dex, then they don't have any next left. Mid lane, there's going to be a charge onto Zai. He's been kind of caught in his own. There is the backup of S4 coming in here. He's got the ultimate. We'll find him onto three. Bring them very, very low. Exe will get taken down as well with the ice shards being thrown out by Zai. And Zai, was... he's fine. That was 3v5. Okay, maybe even, maybe 2 <laughs> The side of Secret looking pretty crazy. Let's have a look at the graphs. It's coming up to 10k in terms of XP over 10k in terms of gold. Oh, Zai is getting charged. Ooh, indeed. S4 trying to help turn it around. Though Zai is pretty tanky here on this dust. There's going to be a snowball forward onto Aggressive. Aggressive on the Ember Spirit will go down. Laguna Blade flying out from... Uh, from Q, but it's not enough to bring down Zai. So one for nothing trade favoring the side of Secret. They might find S4. Indeed, they will here with a charge to cancel the TP. Kuroki will suicide here as he realizes there's no other way out. So I end up being pretty good here. Zai just juking this one out with the Shadow Blade. The sentry's been dropped, but Zai is already out of there. And he should be able to get they himself still away. Sentries. Oh, they still they see him. He's dead. He's definitely dead. And dude, they've got the AoE effects from, uh, of course, Lena's spells, and yeah, the right click flies through as well. So nicely cleaned up there by the side of C deck, finding themselves uh, a couple of big heroes in return for losing the Amber Spirit. Yeah, they... The mid lane and oh, XZ. XZ, I think he, he could be a dead here with the war response, the dagger coming out as well. He's been silenced up also, so he's ready to blow the side of C deck the hell up. And XZ, still waiting for the call from the side of C deck, still waiting for the go ahead. But see, they, they just don't want to jump in this. Weave's already on him. S4's actually found XZ here. XZ pops the blade mail. We'll charge in onto the side of Secret onto RTZ. They want to fight here. The snowballs come out though from Secret. Zai going straight in. They've lost the Undyne. The Kuroki's used himself here. He's gone down with the suicide. Undyne will buy back for this fight. And now they're going on to Shiki. He's out of minute. Life Strike Just catch RTZ. And there's your Laguna Blade. But the Shallow Grave is there in time. And now, with the Doppelganger out to the high ground, RTZ will be able to TP himself out of this fight. And it looks like everyone else on the side of Secret will be able to get away as well. As well. I want to go in here, Stroud says you do you. Uh, sorry, Q here with S4 blinking in as well to take down the Lena. Maybe they can find aggressive as well. Very nice life is to see Chase holding back Zai. But S4 here with the Orchid and the burst damage onto aggressive. Now with the punches from Zai, it is enough. It's a double kill for Zai here on the Tusk. He looks to be in trouble though with the charge coming through. Shiki has got this Desolator and it is enough damage as TA does bring down the Tusk. But C Deck did lose a few there, but oh, that C Deck, for considering the position. Like some carry task item build already. Oh, 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 almost fast up into the mines. Damn. He was looking for a cheeky play, didn't find it. His eyes coming in there. Look at these punches. They're just too much for Q. Q will go down. And now Shiki, he wants to try and find the return kill onto the Tusk. Zai, he hasn't got a snowball, of course, as he's just used. He could be in trouble here. We'll try and pull charge himself forward. The slight for Siri Chase combo and the right click. Coming from Shiki, finding the double kill there for the TA. I mean, this this is very nice for the side of C-Deck. These are big kills indeed. Bottom lane, they're going in. 
Oh, yeah. the charge. Agsy, he's charging right past him. He's going to get silenced up as well. It's going to be the heal bomb doing a fair bit of damage now with the burst from the ultimate of Queen of Pain. The damage from the soul burn on the Orchid does tick him down. RTZ might want to get himself out of here. He's a little bit lower mana. He could try and go back in here. Shiki fighting up against the illusion, but now Shiki's totally out of mana. RTZ wants to go back in. Lance Frodo to Shiki. There's going to be the burst from S4 here and the dagger slow as well. Decay from the sidelines. We will catch up. Oh, Shiki got it. The mines are there. Now come on. They catch all three. That's going to be the TA down. Leader falls as well. Got it. He's the only one to survive. RTZ double carrying him forward with the defusal blade charge slowing him down. They take down the undying. It's going to be a double kill for RTZ. And oh, secret. And they say to Cedek, oh, you've had a couple of nice fights. We're not happy with that. And then they that just Kuroki with these mines. You'll be without getting close. But it's going to be a, a smoke attempt from. Oh, they walk past the bomb. And in secret, they're gonna know the jig is up for the side of C deck. Well, they're trying to find this one doppelganger there, dodging the right click for Shiki. And now they're going in here with the sonic wave onto the wall. S4 and a killing spree. Shiki goes down as well. It's a three for nothing. The side of secret looks to clean up as a triple kill for RTZ. And X he calls GG. 28 minutes in, 37 to 22. Secret take the game with the techies Kuroki and Winter. Secret, they're, they're storming through this group stage, 4 for 0, they take down every team and I mean we saw them take the victory at the summit and they're certainly looking in a good position to give it their best shot here at the Mars Dota League. And this is the sort of game where you lose and you understand that the opponent...